In today's video, we're gonna be covering why Aaron Judge, a premier hitter during the regular season, consistently struggles during the postseason. Aaron Judge's strikeout rate in the postseason is the highest in baseball history. In the video, we're gonna be looking at the three main topics of one, the numbers, where is he getting pitched? Two, what's happening in the mechanics that's causing him not to be able to hit that pitch? And lastly, as a young hitter, if you wanna be emulating your game to attack those pitches, what is it that you need to be doing mechanically so that you have success? Diving into the numbers, let's see where Aaron Judge is getting attacked. So this is 2024 postseason total pitches by zone, and we can see that they are living down and away. The majority of his pitches, 88 pitches down and away, and the second most pitched zone is going to be down and in with 31 pitches. So again, bottom half of the zone and a lot of emphasis on balls breaking down and away. Next, we're gonna be looking at his whiff rate by zone. So when he's missing pitches, the majority of the pitches that he's missing, again, balls down in the zone. Last number we're gonna be looking at is exit velocity by zone. So when he does make contact, where is he hitting the ball the hardest and the softest? And we can see down in the zone, he's not hitting the ball hard. So we have identified where the struggles are with Aaron Judge. He is getting pitched down and away and not hitting it with authority and whiffing. So now let's go into the mechanics of why it is that pitch down and away is causing him problems. Aaron Judge, you know, being the size that he is at 6'8", 280 pounds, gets away with things just physicality wise throughout the whole stretch of the regular season. Now, when it comes to postseason baseball, you can see where pitchers are executing that down and away. So we start looking at the principles in the swing. We wanna be looking at that negative move making sure that the hip is staying inside the knee. We're not swaying and getting the hip over the knee. He's doing a good job gathering into that back leg. Judge being so big doesn't make a positive move forward as aggressively as other hitters. He relies on the lot of mass that he has already. Now, when we look at when he lands, pitches that are down and away, the hitter goes and gets those pitches with the legs. The legs is what's driving the pitch down and away and getting us the barrel to get on plane and make contact with that ball. We can see here with Judge that when he lands a heel strike, the hip is stacked on that knee. The hip is on top of the knee. He's not driving off the backside, getting into a basic athletic position. You look at someone like an Adrian Beltre, who had a great career as a hitter and was well known for getting pitches down in the zone, driving that back knee down into the ground. We could see with him, back hip is inside the knee on the negative move. And as he makes his positive move forward and lands into heel strike, we can see he is more in a 50-50 athletic position. His hips are inside his knee, his knees are inside his ankle. You can see where that hip is not on top of the knee, it is inside the knee. He is being dynamic with the lower half. He is getting into an athletic position. No different after I was gonna cover someone in basketball, cover, make a tackle on the football field. I'm not gonna be stacked on my backside where that's what's killing Judge. Hitters that are having problem with that same pitch down and away, what is it that now that you're able to start doing in your swing to make sure you don't have the same problem with the pitches that Aaron Judge is having? So now let's look at a player that does hit the pitch down and away really well. From the back view, what we wanna be looking at is making sure that the heel and the back knee are driving down into the ground when the swing begins. And again, this starts with positioning the body at heel strike, making sure we're just in a basic athletic position hips inside the knee, knees inside the ankle, and that's where we really wanna start feeling that heel and the inside part of the knee driving down into the ground. Since the pitch is away, we wanna make sure that the back hip is driving towards right center. He is not spinning and just rotating on that rear leg. No, he's already driving off forward off the backside, driving the knee down into the ground and letting the pelvis, the back hip, rotate towards right center. He is not falling off to third base side trying to drive a pitch to the right side of the field with that pitch down and away. His legs is taking him to and through the baseball. So hitters, first thing you need to be looking at 
is getting yourself landed into a hitting position. If you weigh over 250 pounds, you can go ahead and take away the athleticism. You're just gonna be relying on your mass, but when you are facing better pitching, you can see where those swing deficiencies get exposed in certain parts of the zone. And the main part being, right-handed hitter, right-handed pitcher, that out pitch is a breaking ball, breaking down and away. And if we're not dynamic and active with those legs in the lower half to get there, we are never going to be successful. Hitters that are struggling with those pitches down and away, make sure you guys go to our website, gradmgswing.com, check out a local facility near you, schedule your free swing evaluation so you can come in, do your video analysis, and be able to find the root cause of what's happening in your swing.